Hello everybody and welcome back to the new save file. We're going to be jumping in again and today we are going to be trying to unlock the forgotten. So I'm going to play as 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 <coughs> I apologize for coughing immediately upon starting the episode. <coughs> I'm dying. Ah! Oh no. Oh no. No, I'm fine. Uh, uh, anyways. Oh god. <sighs> this is not good. I've just I've just eaten. I don't know why, but like always after it like if i start recording like really soon after eating it's always just a whole thing it's the worst but i do it all the time because i'm dumb anyways i want to unlock the forgotten um to do that we are going to have to go fast 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 very very fast um this is already probably too slow uh we need to beat the first floor in a minute so we're probably have to, gonna have to do a few restarts and we also need a bomb so this is, honestly, this is already too slow. There's too many big rooms. Also, unfortunately, due to the just abhorrently slow restart times that we have now, this is actually not crashed. I've clicked the restart button. There you go. We are going to have to deal with that every now and again. <clears throat> Mime degrees, whatever. I do like the fact that Azazel gets a, a black beret. That is quite precious. But yeah, um, we're going to need to beat the boss really quick. And like I said, we're going to also need a bomb. So it's it's got a few caveats. But like I said, Azazel is the best character. Isaac does start with a bomb, so he might be a little bit better. <clears throat> but we've just got to gamble that we don't get really long rooms like this. Why are we getting... S no, restart again. Three large rooms. Go away. Give me a basic, simple first floor, please. And also, goddamn fix the ridiculous ridiculous amount of time it takes to start a new run. It's so annoying. <laughs> I realize it's probably just the epiphany mod because it's pretty huge, but it's still annoying. We did get a bomb there, but unfortunately it was a troll bomb. Key. I'm just beelining it. Okay, we finally made it to the boss, but this room has to drop us a bomb. Otherwise, this is a fail. <clears throat> also, this is just kind of... <clears throat> Not a great one anyways. <clears throat> oh my god, I'm really apologetic about my voice right now. It is not great. No bomb. <clears throat> We're going to have to do a good few restarts here to get to where we want to be, but it shall be worth it in the end. It will have to do. Come on. <clears throat> okay, the game had an absolute shit fit there. Yeah, apparently I got, I've got a bit of my wrap stuck in my throat or something, because it's not feeling good. One sec. That should hopefully have fixed it. Oh, there's a bomb. Bomb, 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 bomb. Okay. So you're telling me there's a chance. So far, I have gone two wrong directions, though, which does not help. But we've got plenty of time. Plenty of time. I'm even going to take a little jaunt in here. Honestly, Kamikaze, it's very, very risky, but it allows for a very, very quick boss kill. So I'm going to take it. Right, what time are we on? 30 seconds. There you go, we did it. <clears throat> we did it. This time we did it. Good, good, good. Right. Let's go back. <clears throat> Kamikaze's actually not a bad grab here. <laughs> and we got a bomb here. We get this bad boy. Oh, before we... Actually... N nah, I'm gonna try this first. Damn it, that didn't really work out the way I wanted it to. I was really hoping it'd give us like two soul hearts for half a black heart there. Here we go, though. We are aware. What? Okay. Didn't didn't know about that. Apparently you can't put it down otherwise it disappears. I did not know that was a thing. So we're restarting again. <laughs> God damn it. Also guess the loss really doesn't help here. That is very very annoying. I did not know that was a thing. 
Damn it, nerd bomb. I'm the wrong way. God damn, this is gonna be tricky. I need mapping. Don't take away my map. Don't take me away from my ingredients. God damn. Also, stop with all the bloody large rooms. Nobody needs large rooms. It's never been needed, ever. There's a bomb. Now we just gotta go the right way. I mean, this is the right way to the item room, so kind of. More of my curses is really good. Now we just gotta be incredibly speedy with the boss and the remaining rooms. We need to be entering the boss with at least, I'd say, 20 seconds on the clock, really. I, can't, I do forget that as Azazel, we can't just use our black hearts to, like, deal more damage as well. Dude, this is ridiculous. So many large rooms. Oh, the spiders everywhere. There's probably no way we get the boss kill quick enough here. We're going to be entering with, like, a few seconds on the clock. Nope. Already can't do it. If we get a Fiend Folio boss, it's just over. Can't kill him anywhere near quick enough. Right. I kind of forgot those poison things hit me, but there you go. Oh my god. Stop with the large rooms. I don't want large rooms. I've never wanted large rooms. No one ever asked for large rooms. Go away with your large rooms. Don't want them. No, not today, sir. Leave this boy alone. These are the runes we need. Runes with really weak enemies that are really easy to kill. And we also need a bomb. Look, another large room. God damn it. I know there's like usually at least one guaranteed per floor, but sometimes you don't get them and sometimes it's lovely. Actually pretty good. Fortunately, still no bomb there. Oh god, I didn't charge up my Azazel Brimstone fast enough. You two just perish. Thank you. There's a bomb. Still need to remove the fire. Okay, this is good. We should be able to do it here pretty easily. There you go. Nice one. Booster pack. Could give us something good. Judgment. Um, magician. Okay, let's do that first. Honestly, I'll take that as well. Spawn a, um, Spawns? Copies of all trinkets currently held by the user spawns a random trinket if no trinkets are held. I mean, I guess. I mean, I don't really see the point. Right, take this. Back over this way. Okay. Good, 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 good. Back to the starting room. Damn it, I was really hoping that the I'd be able to bomb all these. Plague of Decay. Broken shovel, thank you. I mean it might it might stomp these guys, I don't actually know. Unfortunately it does not stomp these guys. Ah! Those hits are so so annoying when the enemy is in my brimstone. Yeah, this is going to be impossible to utilize, but there you go. Right. Sadly, no bomb for those guys. I think we're just going to get out of here, aren't we? Right. We're on a run. We have created a run. Let's go. Um, probably go with the full card here. And we need to make it to the dark room. Quite far to go. Um, 
I think after the mother, uh, is it after boss rush or something that you can, I think it's boss rush you gotta make it to, I guess we'll just take that. Um, you can turn the shovel into the full shovel. I think it's in boss rush that you do that. I honestly can't fully remember. Um, but I'm gonna try and go fast regardless here. I like the way you spawned more spiders for me there. That's very lovely. I could full card out of my cash room there, but honestly, I don't want to backstep too much. Should really go back and grab that though. Oh, for God's sake, I, I need a tears up because I keep accidentally letting go of my brimstone a little bit too early. Also, these enemies are going to be very annoying. What's left? What the hell's left in this room? What are you doing all the way over here? You shyster. Some extra bombs. Could be good for killing bosses quickly. I realize as well I can use my shovel to stop the foot coming down. If need be. Honestly, with the coming down mod, the foot isn't as bad. It's still not, it's still like not super easy to avoid all the time, but it's, it's not as bad. The biggest problem for me is that the, the, the leg of the foot covers so much of the screen that it's actually kind of hard to see what the hell's going on sometimes. Like in this room here, let's pop it. Stick bomb to you. Stick bomb to you. Lovely. That's pretty good. Well, I say that's pretty good. We got a 0 0.03 fire rate increase out of it, so maybe not as good as I initially thought. Rubber Baby's decent enough. Not amazing, but it's at least going to give us a little bit of a helping hand. This is the point where we can go into our cash room because it doesn't require us to backtrack. This is a room that I could easily get hit on just because of the bounces and the enemies uh, being knocked around so vigorously. Yeah. And the visibility decrease. God damn it. I don't want spicy keys. So many spicy keys this run. Vanilla Whip is pretty decent here if we get some Red Heart upgrades. Damn it. I need more range as well. The brimstone's just not doing it for me. Situations like that just mean guaranteed damage. I say guaranteed. I could have just moved to the side, but I'm going to call it guaranteed and you're going to let me. Um, I'd go for a full run reroll right now. Yes, please. Okay, yeah, this is significantly better. Bozo, nice. Didn't realize we didn't even have that unlocked yet. I'll be honest, I forgot it was an unlock. Right. Oh, bugger. Couldn't quite get out of the way of that guy in time. Oh, goddamn. It's literally the visibility that fucks me up more than anything. You need the, the, the things to be striking at the top of the screen so they cover as minimal of the screen as possible. Good. Just a few hands to deal with now. Don't care about no penny. Right, pop this. No sticky bombs for us now. Of course you jumped off of that. Good. Please give me HP. That's good. And there's that angel deal as well. Which is not great at all, unfortunately. But I'll take it. Immaculate Conception doesn't really do much for us. We might get a familiar down the line if we can somehow get, uh, heal up our red hearts often. But it's not going to be super likely. But you're going to be blowing up all sorts of shit in this room, aren't you? Honestly, the spider is so annoying. 
Berming fellas don't like you. I'm just going to take the damage and move on. Ah, oh, balls sake. Key's pretty good here. I'll try and look for a secret room. God damn it, I accidentally brimstoned it away, but doesn't matter because good old shoe got my back. Nice. Copper bomb I don't really care for. Try go down this way. Certain enemies we need to kill straight away. Stop removing my cover. I'm flying over those rocks. Okay, this, this room was a big failure there because I didn't really catch on to the fact that there was no enemies in the room. Really not a big fan of this one. But if we kill the enemies over the pits, they can't spawn any spiders, so it makes it a bit easier. Trying to just quickly find my item room and shop because we've got money for a money for an uh, thingy and we've got keys for an item room, so I'm, I don't want to really pass them up. As for question of the day, I know it's a bit late into the video for question of the day here, but as for question of the day, what's something you've recently had to be very speedy with? What's a task that you've had to do a little bit quicker than you'd like? Oh, that's pretty good. That's always an interesting one. For me, um, at work at the minute, I'm not going to go into too much detail with it, but we've been creating a pitch deck for like investors for our like startup. And oh my god, it's been stressful. It's just been, like, it's been absolutely all good, and it's been like, hey, we're going to make this in, like, a week. <laughs> and it's, like, super important. And it's like, yeah, it's just been stressful as all hell. My job isn't super stressful that often, but recently it has been a lot more stressful than I'd like. Oh, he shot at the perfect timing there to hit me. This shop is just nowhere to be found. It's very annoying. Oh, for God's sake, there was a fear poop on the door. Why? A bed? Um, unfortunately, I don't think a bed does much for us. Uh, I'm just going to blow up this guy for the thingy. We got damage out of it. Lovely. Blow up you two as well. Why not? Good stuff. Good trinket there, but I like my hoppers more. They, they have the potential of doing a lot of damage. Not that they currently are, but they have the potential. Extra range is lovely. What the fuck did I walk into? Did I walk into like a maggot or something? And there was like a maggot in that room that I just walked right into. Lovely. Okay, health isn't looking too hot right now. But everything else is going reasonably well. Also as well, I need to take into account, I have Nord Leaf on this run if I really want to use it. This boss is kind of rough. Luckily, we killed him very, very quickly. That's pretty nice. Unfortunately, while it is pretty nice, it does lower my HP to the point where I can be one shot. But I ain't, go I ain't walking back. I ain't about that walking back life. But it does mean that I could perish incredibly quickly here. I'm not careful. Okay, Placenta just healed me up. That's rather nice. Oh, there's, no, there's another enemy left? What the hell's left? Oh, there's, the fucking dude stopped on, stomped on that and created a hearth. That's just rude. That fight was rather nice. Let's, uh... We managed to charge this thing up a good amount, I think. We got ourselves Dark Rock. A little bit of stats down on everything, but a good bit of damage up. I like that. The only thing I really miss is the damage. Uh, not damage, the range. Tractor beam is unfortunately pretty dog doo-doo, so I'm just going to take that. Yeah, item is probably back there, yeah. I was just going to say this will probably be, be the boss. Let's get the boss out of the way regardless here while we've got a charge. It's just Gish. Gish shouldn't be too, too bad. Good. Oh, he hit me on the fucking 
Ah, you bastard. Why am I getting devil deals? Go away with the devil deals. I don't want devil deals. God damn, why aren't I locked into the angel path? Very frustrating. Two devil deals in a row that I just have absolutely no care in the world for whatsoever. Item room, where are you? Please reveal yourself to me. Okay, he's going to create spike rocks all over this bitch. He's also going to apparently somehow hit me there, but I'll just accept that, I guess. Still taking some rather dookie damage at the minute. Crack D20 is actually really, really good. I might take that instead of what we've got right now. I really don't like these enemies that just spew out a million spiders. Okay, I actually quite like this room because that heals me to full. Unfortunately, our item room seems to be a million miles away. Like, it, the floor just never ends. Is it XL? It's not even XL. It just keeps going. This isn't even the right way. Come on now, game. You can't be doing this to someone. It's ridiculous. I mean, we're still going at a pretty good speed, so it's not that bad. I'm still annoyed by it. I'm allowed to be annoyed by it. Fuck. Okay, we got two soul hearts out of that, so I don't mind so much. And we got a hero font card out of it. Honestly, Halo Flies is not that useful for us. Just take all the HP. Okay, we got so much HP here. Also, is this a secret room? It is not. Fucking feet! Get out of my bloody way, you shitheads! Stupid feet. I'm going to take the crack D20 for the chance at some good drops. You never know what you might get. Right. To the next floor. Bloody hell, this one was stressful. Give me an angel deal next time or I'm actually going to cut your balls off. Why is it 16% and 16%? Why isn't it all percent on angel deal? What happened? Is that just something that Azazel has or am I... Am I is it always been like that? Am I dumb? Where's my angel deal chance at? Gimme, gimme. I earned that chance. Now give it to me. Ow. Luckily, health is no longer a primary issue. It's still not like... I'm still not going to say it's the best health ever, but... It's no longer something we have to constantly worry about. Wow, glad I came in this item room. Oh, maybe I am actually. Maybe I am. Nope. <laughs> Just a broken disc. I don't really care about that right now. Lovely. I guess I'll take you. Ah, ah. Oh my god, I need better fire rate. I keep not quite charging my brimstone because I'm too impatient. Get out of here. Extra soul heart there, lovely. Found the boss, awesome. We have made to boss rush. Break your old mum's foot now. Get the negative. Okay, I'll just fucking go to the devil deal then. Oh, and you give me literal dog shit. Thank you. Um, 
Sometimes fire a flurry of weak tears to spawn yellow creep. Uh, I don't know. I honestly don't know. I think I'm going to take this and hope for the best. I don't even know if the flurry of, of yellow tears is even going to ever happen with um, Brimstone. But we'll, we'll, I guess we'll just find out, won't we? Oh no, it did. It happened. It happened. That's good. Okay, he's back he's into his frail form now. We got him. I think it only stops it for a wave when you're using the uh, the shovel here, so... Oh, I'm, I'm actually glad I used it on this wave, because Kingpin is just a fucking nightmare. Bigger rooms make Kingpin way more tolerable, but he's still horrible. He's tolerable. He isn't fun. They're two very different things. Calm down, good sir. Ugh, this attack is very annoying for me. He's just going to keep moving. The blue fires are really what we need to be shooting out. We need more luck. The more of them, the better. Okay, we don't need to stop the feet on this one. Yeah, the yellow creep isn't that good. I don't know why this was quality three. It's proving to be pretty worthless thus far. Yeah, definitely stop him on this wave. I even got hit by one even that, even after I stopped it. Lovely. Ow. Taking way too much damage already here. Bugger off for me with that stony, stony, crappy attack. Oh! For I really wish that couldn't happen. He spawns and immediately brimstones, even though he's way off screen. It's like, come on now, that's just a bitch move and you know it. Should not be allowed to do that. Another fairly easy wave here, let's not bother with the feet. I'll bother with stopping the feet, should I say. Especially when they're going to hit the enemy for us. Lovely. Okay, good, good. Definitely stop them on this one. Okay. Dingle's dead. Oh, you bastard. I walked right into that one. Double fires. Okay, that's kind of nice. Good, good. I'm loving it when I can do that and just instantly kill a boss. Yeah, another one I need to stop right away. I need to be able to focus on dealing with the two enemies that can deal brimstones. Although I don't know if you can now, I can't remember. I have to stay close to this guy so whenever I see the beam to get behind him. Okay, luckily we got through it. We got Motor Bicicletta Boy. Very annoying boss indeed. Get out of here already. Thank you, he's dead. Oh, goddamn. A lot of crap on the floor here. A lot of things that could hit me. Okay, nice. Again, another wave. I think I'm going to stop. I know that one of these enemies is pinned, but the angel can be pretty bad. Is 
Steven's not too bad. Good, good, you're dead. You're gone. Oh, there was a little fucking shithead in the middle of the floor there. I didn't even see him. Not too bad of a wave here. Oh my god, I'm taking so much damage. This item that I took, the goddamn spreading the yellow shots is just crap. <laughs> it's just... In certain runs, I could maybe see it being good, but in this run, it is just awful. It's not doing anything. The creep seems to do very minimal damage. The tears do, like, nothing. Ah, oh, bugger. I did finish it. I got the other part of my shovel. Good, good, good. Can I leave yet? Yes, I can. Okay. Health is not great. we got to survive until the last floor with the health we have right now, which I'm not super confident about, I'll be honest. We'll try our best. That is not the sort of thing we need here. We do have Curse of Rebirth on right now. We've got to be careful of that. Curse of Rebirth isn't so bad when you have a Brimstone, though, because you, like, fight through it, basically. You kind of shoot them through the Rebirth. Okay, you killed those for me, thank you. Okay, my little battery baby dude is going to produce stuff for me based on um, the amount of times I don't have a charge. Like, if, if I'm fully charged and I get a room charge, he'll give me some stuff. Please give me the two black hearts. Two, that could be good. It was unfortunately not. Really hoping for the two black heart drops. We did get an eternal heart, though, which I very much like. Good. It's been a stressful run, it has. It's been a stressful run. We're doing just great. We're doing just fine. We do not need to worry. Damn it, that fire just missed this dude. Thank God he didn't rebirth. That would have been very annoying. So many keys. Wow. Could have given a soul heart. Sadly not. Also, Immaculate Conception still being utterly useless for us. Lovely. God, I love that. I can't remember if the shovel does anything prior to getting to the place where you can dig stuff up. I don't think it does. Rather annoying room, actually, this. Take them one at a time. Yeah, well, the creep is just worthless at the minute. If you have something where it's firing way more often, I can maybe see it being really good. But for us right now, it's just not. Unfortunately, we don't really have bombs to deal with this guy easily. He's not that hard of a boss anyways when you have flight. But still, I'd like to kill him a bit faster. That was close. With Brimstone, the short, you have to get a bit too close to him for my liking as well. There you go, we got him. Consolation Prize should be fire rate. Yes, it is. It's only a little bit, but it's, it's honestly enough to make a difference for me. Right, there's the extra heart, which is lovely to see. Unfortunately, we are on Curse of the Lost here, which I really don't like. I hate these enemies. Stop, stop, stop. Stop, stop, stop. Stop jumping, you fucks. Okay, okay, okay. We just got to kind of guesswork here as to where we're going. shouldn't have too much trouble with it, I wouldn't think. Devil card's pretty good for the boss fight, actually. 
kind of love the fact you can fire those into pits. You are speedy, motherfucker. Too speedy for my liking. Have you got a soul heart for me? You do. Awesome. That helps me immensely. So far, I'm feeling like this is the right way, but you never know. It is awesome. Nice. Devil card here. Okay, this is going to be kind of tricky because of the distance, but we do have just enough range to stay in relatively safe distance. But the fire, as you say, should be the big damage dealer here. We did get another angel deal, which I'm very happy about. It's the vanilla wafer. Didn't we already, already re-roll out of the vanilla wafer? Let's see if these chests help us. Maybe they will. Eternal D6 is... Oh, I was going to say it's really good, but it's not because we need to keep carry our shovel. And Lazrags, it's a revive at least, but I'm not very happy about it. That was that was pretty unfortunate. Right. I'm pretty sure it's the last floor. It's not it's not this floor that we've got to uh, use our shovel on, so I can skip this floor pretty much entirely if I get a good teleport, which I think I did there. Oh, dude. That is, for some reason, I wasn't expecting him to do that. Please tell me this is the right way. Do not remember at all what any of you do. Fuck me. All of them jumped on me. There's so many of them. What the hell is this? My goodness. That could be good. I, I don't know. I'm just a bit, a bit worried. Oh, that's so nice. Half soul heart there. Lovely. A little bit of extra damage on the fallen here. Damn it, if I had a blue fire at the worst time there. Kind of wasted. Okay, this guy shouldn't be too bad, but again, the range, the amount of range we have does kind of scare me. Holy shit, that was so good. We just fired three fires at once. That was awesome. Okay, we're used to avoiding feet, so this shouldn't be too bad. There you go, we got it. Okay, let's see if there's any devil foots that we need to go at here. But yeah, now we've got to actually try and find the right the right room here nine lives i think nine lives is one of those ones that we leave for now but we come back to if things are looking rough if things start really not looking like they're going our way we can come back and take nine lives just as a potentially like saving option saving grace Lots of extra money there, thank you. But this is going to be completely random as to when and where we find this room. Um, I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm confused. I'm very confused by this room. Oh, wait, no, I see it now. I see it now. Balls. Oh, this might be it. This might be it. I don't know if the room can have combat in it, so it might not be it. We did it. The forgotten burn hearts. Boy, we did it. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so I'd like to still win this run, but the, the major headache is out of the way now. I'm so glad we managed to do that first try. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, the major headache is now out of the way. Not even a great run for it either, to be honest. Like, what? this is an okay run, but we're pretty weak. Like, damage-wise, tier rate-wise, like, T 
tier effects wise. We've not got anything crazy going on. I think the best thing we have is the candle. Uh, the, the Not the candle, the bird's eye, whatever it's called. The fires. The blue fires are just insanely powerful. But even they are like kind of rare with only one look. Really, I should play, play that thing out. Ops Curse is kind of nice here. Damn it, the fires from this thing are pretty cool, and the charge bar is awesome, but they're kind of hard to hit with. Okay, let's first of all, let's do this before I get hit by one of these inevitably. Oh, there's an enemy in there. Did get Soul Heart out of it, though. We got the magic eight ball. Actually very, very good. Right, let's go. Honestly, we can skip some rooms here by uh, doing this. Oh, hello, you annoying boss. I have a really hard time dodging. Got hit by him again. I just can never decipher which attack he's doing. Always getting them confused. That like that attack, I'm just so bad at dodging it. I'm just I, there. There, I was just way too close to him, but still, find that one rough. Nice. One more room to go. Not even a hard one. And we get golden bombs for it as well. Lovely. I'm going to throw bombs everywhere and hope for the best. Things that going really wrong. We've got a chariot card. Y'all gone. Good, good, good. We got it. Nice one. Okay. I hope you guys did enjoy that one. We'll be playing The Forgotten in the next episode. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.